Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing great, you can show me with a thumbs up like this. If you're feeling okay, you can show me by putting your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well today, you can show me with a thumbs down. But hopefully after circle time is done, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly your airplane to the other side, fly your airplane back to the middle, and take those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Now stretch that circle up over your head and stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side. Nice stretching, friends. One last stretch up at the top and bring the circle back down. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do quickly. First, let's turn on our listening ears. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has buttons underneath my chin, so I'm going to button it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we are ready for circle time. Let me get my pointing stick. I'm going to bring it up to the top, right up here where we have the month. Friends, do you know what the month is? May. You're right. The month is May. Today is May 13th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 12th. Today is May 13th, 2021 or 2021. Both ways are correct when you say the year. Will you say the date with me one more time? Are you ready? Today is May 13th, 2021 or 2021. Can I see your counting fingers like this? Let's warm them up and give them a little stretch. Let's count all the days that we've had so far in the month of May. So at the top, we have the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have had thirteen days so far in the month of May. And now let's sing the Days of the Week song. For this song, we need to hold up seven fingers like this because we have seven days in our week. Are you ready to sing? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that means that today is, here's your clue. Thursday. Today is Thursday and tomorrow will be Friday. Tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of the weekday. Will you sing Today is Thursday with me? It goes like this. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the chart 
right up here where we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! It's springtime where I live, friends. And now we're going to go back down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together. Are you ready to sing? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, my picture down here is the same picture as it was yesterday. It's another rainy day where I live. When I look outside, the sky is pretty dark and gray and full of clouds and there's a light rain or a drizzle falling. And my temperature chart is still on orange, warm and rainy where I live. But I do know that all of the plants love all of that rainwater. What's the weather like where you live? Look outside your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. And now let's move on to the letter the number, and the sign of the week. This week we have been learning all about this letter. Can you make the sound for me? And let's make that sound together on the count of three. One, two, three. V, v. This is a lowercase v, and v says v, v. Let's see what's inside of the letter box today. It's something that starts with the letter V. I'll give you a couple of clues. If you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first hint. This is a type of a liquid that is used for baking, but this is also an ice cream flavor. Do you know what it is? Let's see. Vanilla. So right here, this is vanilla. If I tilt the glass up and down like this, you can see all of the liquid inside. Let's open it up and see what it smells like. Mmm. It definitely smells like vanilla ice cream. It's a very strong smell. This is used for baking. I like to put this inside of waffles when I make waffles or sometimes pancakes. And vanilla is also an ice cream flavor. Vanilla starts with the letter V, V. This is how you write a lowercase V, V. One more time. And let's move along to the number of the week. Friends, do you remember what double digit number this is? 23. When you write the number 23, first you write this number. Two. And then you write this number. Three. 23. If you have something to write with, you can take that out now. I have my piece of chalk and we are going to draw 23 tally marks together. But if you want to, you can just count with me instead. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across. 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 tally marks. I also have one more thing to count. It should be inside of the box. And I know that I need this piece of paper because today we are going to be counting 23 wood chips. And because the wood chips are the same color as the top of the box, I use a dark piece of paper so that 
the wood chips don't camouflage or blend in. Let's make two rows of 10 wood chips and then the extra wood chips will go on the bottom. Are you ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one row of 10. Let's start the second row with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The second row of 10, so we have 10, 20, 21, 22, and one more wood chips, chip makes 23. 23 wood chips all together. So we've gone over the number of the week, the letter of the week, and now it's time to move on to the sign of the week. This week we've been practicing how to say spider in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right friends, spider. Today we're going to talk about another type of arthropod that is not an insect and it has a few names including a pill bug or a potato bug, but you may know it as a roly-poly bug. Pill bugs have a hard grayish shell on the outside of its body that almost looks like armor. Pill bugs have 14 legs and are nocturnal. That means that they are active at nighttime. But why do you think pill bugs are also called roly-poly bugs? It's because when they get frightened, they are able to curl up into a ball. So the next time you're outside, look underneath a rock, leaves, or someplace dark, and you may find a pill bug. But make sure it doesn't roll away. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you have two options. I'm going to show you option number one first. So your first option is to grab a Lego or a Duplo base plate like this big green square and then use some Duplos or Legos and build a maze or a ball run. Now in order to build this maze or ball run I used some Legos and I just made them go around the edge of the base plate just like a wall except I added an opening at the top and an opening at the bottom. And then I used some other Duplos and I added some walls along the middle with some entrances. Because what I want to do is I'm going to take this pom-pom. You can also use a small ball if you have that instead. And when I drop it into the entrance, I want to try to get it to go down through all of the little entrances and out the opening at the end of it, just like a maze. So let's see, remember I'm going to drop it and I'm going to kind of have to maneuver the base plate around like this in order to get the pom-pom out from this way, through the maze and out the other end. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to drop it down. Oh, that went a little too far down. So let's take it back up a little bit more. Oh, it got stuck in that corner. There it goes, and out the end. Let's try one more time. I'm going to take my pom-pom. You can also use a small ball if you have that instead. And I'm going to hold both ends of the base plate and watch the orange pom-pom. Oh, it went right off of the base plate this time. Let's give that one more try. Down, oh, I stopped it right there. Down, oh, and out the end. So friends, this is option number one. Let me show you option number two. So here is your second option for today's work. You're going to need some toilet paper rolls or some paper towel rolls. And I just used a pair of scissors and I cut them in half like this. And then I used some tape and I taped them along 
at the back of this chalkboard. You can also tape them on the wall or on the refrigerator, just a flat surface that is vertical like this. And I'm going to use a marble this time. You can also use a small ball as long as it fits inside of the toilet paper rolls. And hopefully when I drop the marble, it will go down, down, down the tubes and right out the end of the last tube. Let's give it a try and see. Here it goes. <gasps> it worked! So that went pretty quickly, but I dropped it and it went down, down, down. So friends, this work requires lots of trial and error. If it doesn't work the first time, you can just readjust the, the tubes until the marble is able to travel downward and just keep giving it a try. Let's get back to circle time. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. But before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everyone wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.